Reading from Sri Aurobindo's Savitri. In the passage where Ashwapati has ascended to the peaks of creation and meets the Divine Mother, Creatrix of the Universe. There are a series of images which describe our relationship with the Divine Mother and the relationship of the universe, of the universe with the Divine Mother. And we can pause on each one, absorbing and meditating on them as we read. A heart was felt in the spaces wide and bare, a burning love from white spiritual founts annulled the sorrow of the ignorant depths. Suffering was lost in her immortal smile. A life from beyond grew conqueror here of death. To err no more was natural to mind. Wrong could not come where all was light and love. The formless and the formed were joined in her. Immensity was exceeded by a look. A face revealed the crowded infinite. Incarnating inexpressibly in her limbs the boundless joy the blind world forces seek, her body of beauty mooned the seas of bliss. At the head she stands of birth and toil and fate. In their slow round the cycles turn to her call. Alone her hands can change time's dragon base. Hers is the mystery the night conceals. The spirit's alchemist energy is hers. She is the golden bridge, the wonderful fire. The luminous heart of the unknown is she. A power of silence in the depths of God, she is the force, the inevitable word, the magnet of our difficult ascent. The sun from which we kindle all our suns, the light that leans from the unrealized vasts, the joy that beckons from the impossible, the might of all that never yet came down. All nature dumbly calls to her alone to heal with her feet the aching throb of life and break the seals on the dim soul of man and kindle her fire in the closed heart of things. <clears throat> All here shall be one day her sweetness's home. All contraries prepare her harmony. Towards her our knowledge climbs, our passion gropes. In her miraculous rapture we shall dwell. Her clasp will turn to ecstasy our pain. Our self shall be one self with all through her. In her confirmed because transformed in her, our life shall find in its fulfilled response above the boundless hushed beatitudes, below the wonder of the embrace divine.
this known as in a thunder flash of God, the rapture of things eternal filled his limbs. Amazement fell upon his ravished sense. His spirit was caught in her intolerant flame. Once seen, his heart acknowledged only her. Only a hunger of infinite bliss was left. All aims in her were lost, then found in her. His base was gathered into one pointing spire. Thus was a seed cast into endless time. A word is spoken or a light is shown. A moment sees the ages toil to express.